Is it too late? This is one I get asked often when I lecture at Cambridge University and other places, and sometimes I have to answer this way. If I look at the science, and if I look at the trends and the facts, it's very hard not to be pessimistic. It's very hard not to say that we're heading off the cliff at 100 miles an hour. But if I look at the speed and the scale of the changes that are happening, and I look at the people working on these problems, and I look at the breakthroughs in technology that we're seeing right now, it's very hard not to be optimistic. I began this journey of looking at the circular economy through my work in sustainability, but really through my realization after many years consulting to multinationals and businesses around the world on sustainability, that if we don't solve this one problem, everything else we do, no matter how well intentioned it is, will be like shifting deck chairs on the Titanic. Nobody's going to stop growing. Nobody's going to stop striving for growth, whether it's a country or a business or a consumer. And so the only way we fix that problem is to make it circular. And so I started to think, you know, I'm, I'm working in sustainability, I'm lecturing, I'm consulting, but it's just not enough. The only thing that's enough is redesigning the industrial system, literally a new industrial revolution, closing the loop. This is no longer a dream. This is no longer a fantasy. We're not talking about a utopia. We're talking about something that is absolutely happening right now. And that if others could follow the example of those, we would change the world forever. That's why I'm so excited to go and visit these companies that are pioneering in this space, because they're showing that not only is it possible, but that they're doing it already. We don't need new technologies. They're already there. What we need is new thinking. And these companies demonstrate that we can bring that new paradigm, that shift to actually change the world today. I think it's an immensely exciting time. You've got experiments happening around the world in the sort of social entrepreneurship space, in the clean technology space, in the integrated reporting space, in the circular economy. It just, it, it, it goes on and on. And it's in that, that sort of almost historical U-bend that you would expect the ma maximum confusion, uncertainty, anger, sense of loss, existential challenge. And I think that's exactly what we're seeing at the moment. So the question for the sustainability industry in a way is can we project the sort of vision of a future that people would really aspire to and want to be part of? I think we can, but I, we've got to come together in a very different way. That's a great challenge. That's a really great challenge. But I think this is a great time to do it. We have a great opportunity to, to go ahead and, uh, and make the local government, make the city, the municipality as the main actor in this process. You know, I think one of the things that allows me to be positive is I was fortunate to live through the transition in South Africa to democracy. And what I saw was we had a system where people resist change for decades, 40 years apartheid was in place. But when the change really started to happen, there was that tipping point and it happened incredibly fast. So, you know, I really believe that change can happen positively very quickly.